it really was. Now the storm is coming here. It could soon make landfall in the Carolinas. We'll be tracking it, of course, throughout the night here on Fox. But first, a major shift in social policy that every American ought to be paying some attention to. Yesterday, Walmart, which is the world's largest retailer, announced that it is now taking sides in the gun debate. The company announced it will no longer sell handgun ammunition in its stores, nor, Walmart says, will it stock common rifle rounds that can be, quote, also used in large capacity clips on military style weapons. And then the company went even further than that. Walmart CEO Doug McMillan issued a strident statement calling on Congress to ban many semi-automatic rifles that Americans have, as well as to seize firearms from some Americans who have not been convicted of a crime or even charged with anything. For a company that operates primarily in rural America, all of this was a big step. How do rural Americans feel about it? Well, we can only guess at that. There's not a lot of polling going on in Tudot, Montana or Roxbury, Maine. But we do know that in the most expensive parts of New York City and Washington and Los Angeles, all the smart people were deeply impressed. They love Walmart now. You know, good for Walmart for, uh, for doing this. And these are weapons of war. Maybe what's actually happening here is Walmart is listening to its own customers yeah. and listening to the American people who want changes in, not only in the stores, but in society. You have business yeah. being able to act in a more enlightened and more agile way than government does. At least Walmart today announced new action, insisting that the status quo is unacceptable. I was surprised, happily surprised. I think this is a momentous decision, a watershed moment. Uh-huh. So now Walmart is more, quote, enlightened than government is, says liberals. Now that's a fascinating turnaround, because for years, you'll remember, Walmart was the target of coordinated attacks from the left. Progressives used to attack the company for destroying small-town America and for exploiting workers. 